Is this a chick flick? How dare you? What? That's sexist. What? No. I, I genuinely do think that's sexist. What, to, to say that what men can't enjoy Have a movie emotions. about falling in love. Yeah. I mean, even if I, as a man, am sometimes a little bottled up, it takes a movie like this for me to actually loosen up a little bit. I, I think I think that's unfair. And also, um, this is a funny movie. It, it is. It, it's it's really a romantic funny. comedy, and you belittle it when you call it something that's derogatory towards women. Derogatory? Derogatory? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a big word. It's bad. Don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> Most romantic thing both of you have ever done for somebody else. Oh, God. Um, you've got, you go first. I'm going to think of mine. I got married. I gave a person the rest of my life. <laughs> That's true. And That's they true. did it in return. Obvious. I mean, it's not obvious, but they did. It's great. Um, I think that's pretty. That's very romantic. That's pretty, you know, the rest I've, of my I've life. I've done scrapbooks and journals for my husband, and we like emailed each other for a long time as we were falling in love before we met. And I like collected all the emails and pasted them in this beautiful old journal. I gotta start yeah. scrapbooking. Do it. It's really fun. Right. Is it what? What are your tips for romance? Is it is it hip to be romantic these days, or is it are we kind of taken away a little bit by our phones and stuff? What are your thoughts on romance, modern day romance? Okay. I'm a big fan of modern day romance because yeah. I met my husband that way. We actually met through Twitter. So if it wasn't for my phone and wasn't for social media, I wouldn't be married with my baby. So um, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, but I also like to do some old school romantic things too. I mean, I, I love that. Yeah. It, Writing it, letters. It's so hard to find your partner, to find someone you're going to spend the rest of your life with. If you do it through the internet, through carrier pigeons, you bump into them at a bar, who cares? As long as it works. I think social media gets a bad rap because so much about it is just having sex. Um, and so, you know, that, you know, that's different. But if you really want to meet someone, why not use every tool possible? possible? And also with people that work and travel, staying in touch is, is very important and it's much easier than so it used to easier. be. So much easier, totally. You know, I don't see any problem with it at all. How do we make real life? Because when I see, when I saw this film and I see these kinds of films, I'm like, oh my God. Like, it, it's so ro romanticized, but how can we make real life like the movies? How can we actually make... I think it is just like... Can honestly, be. I think, it, I think it is, and it can be, and it's passionate. And here's the thing about this film is it's really messy how they get together. I mean, it's not a black and white, they meet each other, they fall in love. There are some major obstacles at play. And then we also delve into the notion of, all right, when you do end up together, how do you keep that romance alive? And I actually think it's really grounded in reality that we have to continuously remind ourselves to show up for our partners, not to just take them for granted, because it's kind of what we do as human beings. It's, it's kind of easy to do that. Yeah. What are Ben's dating tips? When you, when you were single, what, what, what advice do you wish someone would have given you? Don't settle. A woman asked me the other day, she said, if you were gonna make a PSA for single women, is to, it don't settle. And I don't, I mean, there's no difference between dating between men and women, in my opinion. Um, just don't settle. Um, be, be willing to feel the frustration, be patient, it, because it only takes one. You're just looking for one. And um, if you gotta go through three or 3,000 um, to find one, <laughs> you're like, well, 3,050. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I don't mean go through them. I yes. mean, you know, tweet them. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, that, like that. Uh, that'd be my advice. Take your time. Your dating tips. Um, <clears throat> well, this is what I did with my husband, and it worked. I think um, you should get to know them without being in their physical presence first. Mm. So I got to know my husband's spirit over email, and we decided not to meet up until we really like got to know each other. And the first time we met up we just had already fallen in love with each other's spirit, that the physicality came second to that. And I think sometimes that, that stuff can really get in the way. So I loved getting to know him in that way. And I recommend it to all my friends and everyone else watching. 